Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to take a look at the B-Link BT3 Pro and before we do that I would just like to share that I've been using the B-Link BT3 for quite some time I did not share my review on the channel but nonetheless I would like to share a few images and also some specifications this just to mention that for those of you that have the BT3 regular version I see no real uh, differences in terms of raw performance uh, to upgrade from one machine to to another but if by some reason uh, you need more RAM or if you need a dual display setup then the BT3 Pro is the machine to go in my opinion of course and of course if you are on the market right now for a new machine the price is very similar between these two machines so uh, I would go for the BT3 Pro now that being said let's go straight for the video so that you guys can uh, check out the test that I did and that being said let's go for it hope that you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in a few seconds <laughs> And we are back. So starting as always with a very quick unboxing experience so that you guys can check out the uh, content package. As you can see, very uh, simple unboxing. And once we have time so that you guys can check the images, let's move on to a closer look uh, so that you guys can also check out the connectivity uh, of the B-Link BT3 Pro. In terms of build quality, what I can say is that the plastic is a normal plastic for this kind of machine. I've seen a lot worse, I've seen a lot better. Uh, it's not bad at all and totally acceptable for the price that we are paying. It has a texture on the top that makes it look a little bit uh, better. And with that being said, uh, I'm sure that you had time to check out the connectivity and also to take a closer look at the machine. Now, one of the interesting accessories that the BT3 Pro brings in is the Visa mount adapter. And this is not the first time that Billings includes one. I remember the BT7 in the past that had one and the BT3 Pro also as this one and as you can see on the image this can be uh, quite useful if you are uh, going to equip uh, office with these mini computers and you want to save space on a desk now my experience was very easy i did connect uh, the visa mount to the back of my display and i did try it two ways one i did um, face the front of the uh, mini pc to the bottom of the display which fits really well it was meant to be placed like that but we can have a problem which is if the visa mount is to the top of the display then there's a risk that the hdmi cable will uh, be hanging out of the display on the top of the display now i also tested out uh, with the front of the uh, mini pc to the bottom of the display and it works i only had to force it a little bit to pass uh, of uh, through the VGA connection but once I did pass through that it worked great and uh, for my display for my kind of display that was the scenario that worked great now this is an accessory you can use it we uh, can choose not to use it depending in this particular case as you can see right over there I'm not using it but definitely is something uh, that can be very useful in office that we want to save uh, space on our desk now moving along I did uh, check out on the top of of the cover of the BT3 Pro uh, stating that M.2 SSD expands and I was very curious uh, and I thought well this machine uh, will be able to expand through a M.2 SSD. Now I did open the machine removing the rubber on the bottom and unscrewing and so on and so forth just to find out that there is no M.2 SSD slot so if you happen to read the same that I did or uh, see a screenshot uh, of this uh, mini PC and wonder if we can actually upgrade it with a M.2 SSD unfortunately we can't now once we turn it on this is a Windows 10 mini computer so in terms of the setup uh, it will be as any other device with uh, Windows 10 now during the setup I was a little bit scared to be honest because at some point uh, it did ask me for the serial which is not usual on these machines but I did select the skip and then once Windows was uh, fully working, it automatically 
uh, activated which is great and I checked out the license as I do on every single Windows 10 mini PC that comes into the channel and what I can say is that it's fully activated and working so no issues at all regarding the uh, license of Windows 10. Now in terms of specifications as I mentioned on the beginning of the video this mini computer is running the Intel Quad Core Z8350 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of flash storage and from those 64 there are 44 gigabytes available for usage. Now moving along to the benchmark so that you guys can compare uh, with other machines including the B-Link BT3 so that you can check that in terms of real world uh, performance there is no actual difference. Of course we have two extra gigabytes of RAM which can be useful for virtual machines and so on and so forth and we can uh, have a dual display setup but besides that there's no real difference. Now I, I believe that I gave you guys enough time to uh, check out some uh, benchmarks. I did test out with the disk speed test and as you can see nice results Geekbench 4, uh, 3D Mark and also Wi-Fi and uh, Ethernet connection speeds which are in line with other devices with the same specifications. Okay so now moving on to the uh, real world performance which is the thing that matters most. Everything else that we talked uh, so far is just great so that we can see the numbers, we can imagine how far a machine can go but now let's translate all that to the experience in a real world performance and for that I did test out with office and productivity uh, software like Word, Excel, PowerPoint and so on and so forth and as you can see on screen this is the machine that I always advise or the kind of machine to be more precise that I always advise for office productivity because in my opinion of course this was or this is the main goal of these machines a budget machine that we can place on our office which 10 years ago would be impossible to get a machine with these uh, prices but now uh, it is and we can do everything browsing emails office uh, productivity word excel and so on and so forth it works just great now it's not the fastest machine uh, if we compare to an i7 or something like that but it works great and for office productivity i believe that uh, this is the main goal i also tested out a little bit with photoshop and what i can say is that for those of you that are looking for a machine that can do some photoshop messing around with um some templates then it will work great don't get too crazy uh, because it will not work with huge projects but for small projects yeah fine we can change uh, the fonts and we can change pictures and so on and so forth and will work great now moving a little bit to the multimedia consumption using Kodi as always uh, latest version which is 17.3 as you can see on screen as well it did play everything with the exception of 10-bit videos now if you are looking for a machine uh, to play 10-bit like anime and so on and so forth which some of you guys follow the channel and are asking uh, sometimes it will not uh, play those files but 4k 8-bit with H.264 and H.265 codecs it will play everything that I threw at it um, always streaming from my own network and I had no issues at all then I moved on to Plex and I did create a server uh, using the BT3 as you, can guys, as you guys can see on screen I also used four devices uh, to stream the uh, Plex server one of which is the BT3 itself so we can uh, use it as a server and also as a player which works great uh, playing Blu-ray 1080 MKV files so that we can test also the transcoding which I will talk in just a few moments but what I can say is that if you are looking for a machine that can act as a server and a player at the same time it will work great also playing around with four devices including the Mi Pad 2 uh, iPad mini and iPhone SE without any transcoding it will work just fine I would say that the this is uh, the limit uh, being the BT3 one player and then another three extra players this will be kind of the uh, limit probably we can add one more but that's about it because the CPU is almost maxing out but that being said once we go to the transcoding which is something that I will uh, talk about in another video if it's worth it or not in my opinion and so forth and so forth but what I can say is that in terms of results if we go to transcoding the machine will not be able to transcode high bit rate files and as you can see on screen just using the iPad mini uh, a single transcoding without using anything else it will struggle and from time to time we will have a break on the movie which obviously we cannot 
uh, use it. Um, I also tested out using direct play to uh, the BT3 Pro, the iPhone SE and the Mi Pad 2 and then transcoding to the iPad and we will have uh, even worse um, even worse experience which is not uh, pleasant to use. So what I can say in terms of conclusion uh, regarding the multimedia playback for Plex if we are going to use the BT3 Pro as a server for direct play there is no issues at all but for transcoding if you need it then um, beware because it will not be powerful enough to transcode most of the high bitrate files for this kind of device. And then finally guys one of the main differences between the BT3 and the BT3 Pro is that now with this machine we can have a dual display setup which is great I did talk recently about that uh, here on the channel and the advantages of having a dual or triple display setup which is how I work and that is a huge huge advantage so for someone that is looking for a mini pc with dual display setup the bt3 pro is bringing that and it is a great option compared especially with the bt3 regular version so in conclusion guys what i can say is that the bt3 pro in terms of raw performance uh, it's in line with the bt3 regular version and for those of you that already have one unless once again if you need two gigabytes of ram or if uh, you are going to connect a dual display setup then go ahead and go for the bt3 pro if not then the bt3 is a great machine nonetheless for those of you that have none if you are comparing one to another and you can check the prices down below you will see that the prices are very similar then why not getting an extra two gigabytes of ram which might be useful in the future and also getting an extra uh, display output which uh, can be very useful as well uh, if you want to connect to this place and that is it guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you did don't forget that usual thumbs up as always my name is Roberto George and I'll see you on the next one